sorry about that. Um, the, the phone fell and that's why it's a second video. I do apologize for that. Um, I just got my, my can of pineapple ready. I just drained it. I'm not using all of this in this, uh, in this batch. Um, I'll probably only use, um, might be just a half a cup. Half a cup to a cup, depending. Usually what I do, I usually use my lauded spoon and, and just keep on going until I think that there's enough in there. Um, so we'll start off with a half a cup and then we'll go from there. Uh, this is doing very nicely. It hasn't come to a boil yet, but it looks beautiful. And just so you know, don't forget to um, get your mason jars ready as well. Um, if you don't have any mason jars, you can use um, different, different bottles that you already have at the house. Why go out and buy them when you have ones at home that you could just reuse? Okay? Oh my goodness. That's not good. This keeps on falling, so I'm going to have to put you guys back over here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Hopefully that'll work, and I do apologize. I really do have to get a video camera. Definitely, definitely, definitely have to get a video camera. And that will be coming soon. I can smell the vinegar. So, yeah. So, this is do going very, very beautifully. It's, um, it's golden in color. I'll actually bring you over and show you what it looks like. It is really golden in color. Hopefully you don't get too steamed up there. See, because it's, it's, it's kind of golden. And really, really sweet. Well, with a little bit of a tang to it. Okay. Let me see. Put you down here. Okay. Hopefully we're good now. <clears throat> Yeah, so I have my my bottles ready. Um, I've already ahead of, like I've always already washed them and, and they're sanitized and all that stuff. Um, you can if you want to after you have them have them full. Uh, you can have a big pot of boiling water and you can submerge them in there until they to help really seal it uh, until they pop, which would make it go down. And, uh, but since this is going to be really, really hot going in anyways, I'm just going to do it as is and just let it naturally pop. So I'm just waiting for all this love potion to get, come to a boil. And I'm, once it comes to the boil, I'm actually going to let it boil for about, say, two to three minutes. And then I'm going to add in our, our um, cucumber mixture and our pineapple. And I will be back when that stage happens, okay? Hang on. Hi, everybody. We've been boiling for a bit now, and we, we're done. So I let this boil for three minutes, okay? So I'm going to put the, the half a cup of pineapple in here right now, okay. I have a feeling I'm going to be putting more in. I'm just going to give this mixture one last little shake, get the salt off, put it over here. And we're going to put it right down in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful love of potion. And no, it's not love potion number nine. Even though that's a really good song. Okay. So, oh my gosh. The colors. 
Okay, so I am going to be putting in some more pineapple. Let's see. I like pineapple. So I would say probably what you want to do, because um, this was a large can, half a can for this recipe. We'll say that. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. Like, oh my goodness. And it's all covered with that beautiful, beautiful <clears throat> broth. Yummy. Now we have to let this come to a boil, too. Okay. Here you go. See all this beautiful color? And those are, these are from my garden. So that's a little baby one. Like, I got a few in there for the bait, uh, for gherkins and that. And then I got picked the other cucumbers in there and oh, and the smell is divine doesn't that look beautiful so what I'm gonna do this this has to boil again come to a slow boil okay and we almost forgot almost forgot we have to put our love in there uh, I'd say about a cup or two of love you know because it's very important. Because if you cook with love, it tastes so much better. So we're gonna let this come to a boil. Uh, I'd say I'm gonna let it come to a boil and then maybe for boil for about one to two minutes. And then I'm going to be putting them in the jars. And actually I have an itty bitty jar that I am going to put, I'm going to pick up the little ones that I have in there and I'm going to put them in here. Or the other jar that I have, I know I have somewhere, so, oh there it is on the table. It's smaller, just give me a sec. <clears throat> See, it's smaller, I think that'll be better. Put that aside. I'll just give this a quick wash and I will be back when this beautiful, beautiful concoction is ready to be jarred. Hi, we're back and we're boiling. And I got, it's almost, it's almost has boiled for two minutes, almost, not quite. Once the, the oven goes off, it'll be two minutes. And what you wanna do, you wanna keep on stirring this to make sure that it does not burn. You put all your love and effort into making this beautiful, beautiful creation. These beautiful sweet pickles. You don't want to burn them. See, so you just don't want to burn them. Not at all. And it looks so beautiful and so vibrant. Oh, the colors of the peppers with the color of the pineapple. There we go. Turn that off now. It is gorgeous. Mm. Okay, I rinsed this off. So I am going to see about getting our itty bitty pickles. Our itty bitties. See if I can get all of the little pickles. Of course, when you're looking for them, and not a small itty bitty one. When you're looking for them, they don't always pop up. <laughs> I know there wasn't too many little ones, but still. I want to make sure I got all of them in there. That's okay. So I'm going to put some of our peppers and that, and I'll add some other ones in there, and I'm going to put our juice, you need juice in it too, so, fill the juice, and flip the over this side, so that is our beautiful pickles, 
I'm not going to seal that one as of yet. Uh, just for the simple reason, I may have little ones, more little ones in here. Like I do right here. That I missed. <laughs> so here we go. Go, add juice to this. Oh, yep, there's another pickle there, so. There we go. And of course, you have to seal it with love as well. I'm going to get this here because it's hot, so. And there is one of our pickles. Okay. There's another one of our baby ones. Put that in there. So I'm just going to the rest of this in here. Depending on how many um, cucumbers you've cut up, like the first time I did it, I got four. Uh, for um, jars. This time, I'm not going to be getting four jars. <laughs> Just so you know, there's not going to be four jars. <laughs> Three for sure. With the little one being there too. Okay, I just saw another little one in here. Positive I did. And get everything into this jar here because that, I'm only going to get two regular jars. Well, I call regular jars. In there. You definitely, definitely want all this beautiful goodness in here. You, you spent the time to grow the stuff and then to make this beautiful, beautiful love creation. You want to make sure you get every little thing in here. Now, now before you try it, you got to let it cool down. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. You got to let it cool. Okay. Okay, I got everything out of there. Awesome. And now we got to add more beautiful, beautiful syrup. There we go. And I'm going to add a little bit more to here because we added those other ones in there. Seal these up. And the bottles are hot, that's why I'm using a cloth to seal them. And there you have it, folks. And once these cool, you hear that there? That'll actually pop it close once they're cool. So this here is our homemade sweet pickles! Yummy! And this is the one that has some of our baby ones in it so actually I can't wait to try that because it's just so amazing I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you have any questions um, about making these pickles just let me know and I'll I'll answer you answer you as soon as I can in the meantime uh, I hope you keep on having fun in the kitchen get creative and you know this recipe that I used you could probably use it for other other pickling stuff like maybe 
Oh, you know the small onions? Instead of using the big onions, you could use the small onions, maybe? It's an idea. I'm not sure. But anyways, I hope you enjoy. Uh, keep on having fun in the kitchen, and I will see you next time. Next time, I do not know what I'm going to be making, but I will be making something. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know, know down below, and uh, I'll see what I can do. All right. Keep on having fun. Enjoy yourself in the kitchen. Of course, get the kids involved. Until next time, bye-bye.